In this video, I'm going to go over what it takes to first create and then install the Facebook Pixel onto your Web Starts website. The first thing we'll need to do is jump into your Facebook account and go to your Events Manager page. That's where I'm at now. And from here, there's going to be a number of different ways you can do it. Now, I've never created a Facebook account, or excuse me, a Facebook Pixel for this Facebook account. So I'm starting from scratch. I'm going to create the data source. I'm going to create the Pixel, and we're going to go from there. You may have already gotten to that point, and you'll just need to edit your existing Pixel uh, to grab that code and then head over to the website. So we'll start here. I'm going to click Add New Data Source, and then I'm going to click the Facebook Pixel link. It's going to give me a brief description about what it is. I'm going to name it. I'm just going to name it Facebook Pixel. And then I'm going to enter the web starts, or excuse me, the web, my website URL, where it's going to end up, and click Continue. Next step is you're going to need to choose how you're going to install this. Being a WebStarts website, you have the ability to add HTML to your site. So we're going to go ahead and choose this middle option to manually add the pixel code to my website. From here, under step one, all you need to do is click on the code here, and it'll automatically copy to your clipboard. And then we'll jump on over to the WebStarts dashboard. I'm already logged in. From here, click to edit the website. Once your page loads up, go ahead and click the Edit tab, followed by Edit HTML. Now you're going to see a warning here. We provide this just so you know that anytime you're jumping into the HTML code of the website, you have the ability to, you know, kind of change some things. So just be aware of what you're adding. It's not nothing to be worried about, but just want to, we want to make sure that you understand that you are editing the structure of the site. Go ahead and click Yes to continue. And from here, you're going to have a number of different options about where you can place this code. The first view by default is going to be the source code of the body of the page. And this is what's basically the what's in the, between the body tags of your website, or excuse me, the, the page that you're on. If you want to paste code, you're going to have a blank tab. You're going to be able to just drop in any code, and this is also going to be added to the body. What we want to do, is, and per Facebook's instructions, is we want to add this to the head of the site. Now, there's a couple different ways you can add it to the head. You can view the page head, so you're going to be viewing basically the head area of the uh, page itself, or the site head. This is basically the head tag that's going to be applied to every single page on the site. Now, because the Facebook pixel wants you, or excuse me, Facebook wants you to add that pixel code to every single page of the site, you're going to want to click View Site Head. And once you're in there, just go ahead and paste that code that you got from the previous step, and then click OK. Be sure to save the page. That's all there is to adding the code to your page, or excuse me, your website rather. It's on every single page of your website now because it's being distributed through that head tag. Let's head back over to the Facebook uh, Events Manager page and scroll down to step number two. Now, turn on automatic advanced matching. This can be useful when you're trying to uh, gather data from information you already have, be it phone numbers, email addresses, whatever. Uh, you can choose to turn this on or off, completely up to you. You have some options here. Uh, I'm going to leave this off for now. You can go back and edit that and turn that back on if you like. But for me, for this test purpose, I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to enter, whoops, don't want to enter the HTML code. I want to grab the URL for the site under step three, because I want to test that installation. And to do that, I need to send test traffic to the site. Once that loads, jump back here. You can see that it's testing it, and it's active. Basically, it's saying that we saw the code. You're now tracking the behavior through that Facebook pixel. Go ahead and click Continue. Now, you can add additional events or whatever. I'm not going to cover that in this video. If you do have questions about creating additional Facebook events, be sure to refer to the Facebook Pixel Setup Guide that I've included a link to in the description of this video. Otherwise, that's all there is to it. Now keep in mind that the Facebook Pixel isn't tracking in real time, so it may take a little bit to update this page here, but you can always test the events in the event you want to make sure that it is on the site. Once this loads, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the live website. We'll grab the URL. Go ahead and click open, scroll back, and it says here you're receiving activity. You can see the page view here at the time that it was recorded. Should be all set. If you have any other questions about adding the Facebook pixel or about your website in general, 
be sure to reach out and we'll be happy to help out.